Um, good afternoon, all of you, and thank you, Dr. Jayakopal Agarwal, my friend, for giving me an opportunity, and also to the AOS for giving me an opportunity to speak on uh, this instruction course as a co-instructor. So the first topic is a basic topic, basic concept of astigmatism axis and meridian. So astigmatism is a, is a type of refractive array in which the eye does not focus light evenly on the retina, so the images that are formed are blurred. Normal eye is like a football, and like being a football, what happens is that the rays of light are focused all on the retina, whereas in astigmatism, it has got an ellipsoid shape li like a rugby ball, so all the lights are not focused on the retina, so the images are blurred. Incidence of astigmatism is as high as 13% globally, so it's a significant amount. And higher prevalence is seen in East Asians because of maybe tight eyelid and narrow palpebral aperture. The Japanese and the Singaporean and the Chinese, they have an incidence as high as 20 to 21 percent. Astigmatism axis shifts from a predominant with the rule astigmatism to against the rule astigmatism after the, after the age of 40 and maybe uh, because of the changes in the corneal curvature. One study before cataract surgery and after cataract surgery incidents, before cataract surgery, no astigmatism was seen in 13%. 64% had nominal um, astigmatism between 0.25 to 1.25, 1, 1 and 22% had a significant astigmatism of more than 1.5 diopters. And after surgery, the incidence was between 7.5% to 75%, but a clinically significant astigmatism of more than two diopters was seen between 25 and 30%. That's a huge amount. What causes uh, astigmatism? It could be because of the anterior corneal surface, the posterior corneal surface, the lens, fluids, and the retina. Coming to the classification, we have a regular astigmatism and an irregular astigmatism. In a reg regular astigmatism, the principal meridians, we'll come to see it later, are perpendicular, that means they are at right angles. And in irregular astigmatism, they are not at right angles, they are not at 90 degrees. This is a uh, pictorial, pictorial diagram of the meridians. We have the vertical meridian, 90 degree to 90 degree, and zero to 180. Always, one has to keep in mind that the right side is the zero degree, whether it be the right eye or the left eye. Coming uh, to the classification of a regular uh, astigmatism, the principal meridians, as we all noted before, are perpendicular. It, it is divided into subgroups. With the rule astigmatism, it has a steep vertical meridian. Against the rule astigmatism, the steepness is horizontally placed. Oblique astigmatism, the steepest axis, is in the oblique meridian which lies between 120 and 150 to 30 to 60 and irregular astigmatism they are not perpendicular uh, coming to the the first category the the with the rule astigmatism the vertical meridian is steep the vertical beam of light focuses in front of the retina and and forms a, forms in the horizontal axis it has more plus cylinder in the horizontal axis and it is corrected by using a cylinder, minus cylinder, in the horizontal axis. Uh, this gives you the picture of uh, what range the, the, with the rule astigmatism can be. It's the most common type of uh, astigmatism. The greatest, greatest refractive power is within 30 degrees of the vertical meridian, which, you show in, which is shown in the picture on the, on the left side, uh, corrected with a concave cylinder at horizontal axis of 180 degrees. The second category, astigmatism against the rule, the horizontal meridian is steep. The horizontal beam of light focuses in front of the vertical. It is corrected using a minus cylinder will cause, because minus cylinder will cause the, the, the horizontal beams of light to reach the retina. Uh, this is the pictorial diagram. On the left side, we see that the horizontal meridian is steep. You can see the vertical meridian is 43 diopters, whereas the horizontal is 44 diopters. This is the topographic scan. The hot uh, colors, they, they depict the steepness. On the, on the left side, you have the, the steepness at, at 90 degrees vertically, whereas on the, on, the right, on the right side, you have the steepness in the horizontal axis. 
So the first one is with the rule astigmatism, the second one is against the rule astigmatism. The third category, the oblique astigmatism, we have the axis between 150 and 120 degree to 60 to 30 degrees. Another category is the irregular astigmatism category. The meridians are not perpendicular in this. In regular astigmatism, what happens is that the two steep hemi meridians are nine, 180 degrees apart. Whereas in irregular astigmatism, it is less than 180 degrees apart. The two steep hemi meridians may be asymmetrically steep, called asymmetric irregular astigmatism. If they, if, if, if they, are, if they are equal in steepness, that is known as symmetrically irregular astigmatism. If they are not, they are known as asymmetrically irregular astigmatism. And, ir and irregular astigmatism is generally associated with ocular surgery or trauma. So these are the pictures, ray pictures, ray diagram of a simple hyperopic astigmatism which you see that the first ray of light, the, the horizontal line is because of the vertical uh, meridian. It focuses on the retina. The, hori the, the, the horizontal meridian focuses uh, beyond the retina. This is known as simple astigmatism, hyperopic astigmatism. Coming to simple myopic astigmatism, the ray of light focuses in front of the retina. Coming to the compound astigmatism, we have simple hyperopic compound astigmatism in which both the rays of light, the vertical and the horizontal, they focus behind the retina. Compound myopic astigmatism, both the rays of light focus in front of the retina, whether it be the vertical or the horizontal. And we have the mix mixed astigmatism in which one ray of light will focus in front of the retina, the other one will focus behind the retina. This is the complete picture which you see here of uh, the various refractive errors that we come across. Another aspect is the conoid of strum. It is a cone between the two focal points in astigmatism. And at the center of the conoid is the circle of least confusion or diffusion. The smaller the interval of strum, the lesser is the blur, blur circle or the circle of confusion. These are a few of the examples. Here what we see, the blue line is the vertical meridian line and the red is the horizontal line. Both of them focus well on the retina. This is a simple emetropic eye. This eye, the cornea is steep vertically and we have a horizontal axis in which the horizontal line forms in front of the retina. This is simple myopia with the rule astigmatism. Here, the, 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 the cornea is flatter in the, in the horizontal meridians. The horizontal meridian focuses light behind the retina in the vertical axis. This is again uh, the same picture which has been combined. This is the, the mixed astigmatism picture in which the vertical meridia is steeper. Therefore, the blue line depicting that, uh, focusing uh, the image in front of the retina, whereas the flatter meridian, the red line, uh, the, the image is focused behind the retina. This is the conoid of strum between uh, the blue and the, the re red hexagon. This is the structure array of light that we see come across. Giving some insight to the posterior corneal curvature the an in, in, in with the anterior with the rule astigmatism, uh, the, the posterior cornea is steep to the extent of 0.5 diopters. Anterior corneal surface of the cornea behaves like a plus lens. The vertical steepness translate into with the rule astigmatism, whereas the posterior surface of the cornea behaves as a minus lens. And the vertical steepness translate into against the rule astigmatism of 0.5 diopters. This is the general uh, uh, um, data that has been obtained. Patients, so what happens is that patients with the rule astigmatism were being overcorrected by approximately 0.5 diopters. And patients against the rule astigmatism were being undercorrected. So you might measure a patient who has two diopters of with the rule astigmatism on the anterior cornea, but the patient may have only 1.3 to 1.4 of on the total corneal power because the post posterior cornea throws about 0.5 to 0.6 in the other direction. So you have to undercorrect that. 
Thank you so for uh, thank you so for uh, so much for your kind attention.